We've been talking quite a bit, uh, as so many have, about a lawsuit, a class action lawsuit, if you will, against uh, Buffalo Wild Wings for allegedly having boneless, uh, boneless wings that uh, are not supposed to be boneless. But is there any merit to this? Let's bring in uh, local patent attorney John Rizvi uh, joining us live. Hey, John, good morning. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Always a pleasure to be here. We're glad you are. So um, I actually have two suits in mind that I want to talk to you about, but let's see how we do on time. Let's start with this one. So this Buffalo uh, uh, Wild Wings lawsuit, you're the lawyer. Set it up for us for folks who may not be aware, then let us know what you're thinking about the uh, legitimacy of this. Yeah, so under the Lanham Act, uh, uh, there's liability for false advertising. So basically you claim a product is either source produced or endorsed by a party that had no involvement. So that's, that's the basis of this lawsuit is that the, the Buffalo Wild Wings sells boneless chicken wings and the meat does not come from the, the wing of the chicken. It comes from the chicken breast. And uh, the, the class action lawsuit is claiming that that's, that's misleading. And the, the harm is that the consumers are claiming they would have paid less had they known that it was breast meat and not wing meat. I mean, what's reality? Does I mean, is there are there? <laughs> I was going to say, are there legs here? <laughs> but I probably don't want to say that. So, is there any merit to this? So, it, it, it's going to come down to what the reasonably the consumer of average intelligence, uh, education, and knowledge what they believe. And there's there's other examples. Like for example, like a hot dog. Nobody thinks that it's dog meat. Um, uh, that, you know, they, and they, you can't bring a lawsuit saying, "Oh, I thought I was eating dog meat." Uh, a hamburger, uh, it's known it's not ham. French fries are 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 you know are American. They're not they're not from uh, imported from France. And that's the worry. And the, and the question is, does this fall in the same category? Like, do consumers know that boneless chicken wings are not wing meat? Um, and this this particular uh, plaintiff argues that if if that that it's false advertising that it he would have ordered chicken nuggets uh, and essentially that the, the the chain is is profiting by calling the boneless chicken wings when they're actually essentially chicken nuggets dipped in sauce and that's that's the the crux of the argument. John, if you were on this case, if you were the lawyer on this case, which side would you want to be on? I, I would not want to be the plaintiff in this case. I mean, it's clearly, uh, there's a, a tweet by Buffalo Wild Wings that the, the, the uh, it, it's, you know, the, the, the public and the court of public opinion is certainly on the side of the, the restaurant chain. And that's why the chain put out a tweet saying it's true. Our boneless wings are all white uh, chicken meat. Our hamburgers contain no ham. And our buffalo wings are 0% buffalo. So uh, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek, uh, a humorous tweet that they put out, a little bit risky because there's, there's clearly admissions in that. I don't know um, if, as a lawyer, I would advise a client to be publicly tweeting something like this. It comes across as really arrogant and cocky as if the, the plaintiff has a, like, like no case, as if it's a frivolous lawsuit. But the reality is, from a PR standpoint, that's probably how most people view this as a frivolous lawsuit and if that's the case, then that means most consumers know that boneless uh, chicken wings are not really wing meat. They're, uh, they, they hope it's chicken meat, but they, <laughs> they don't necessarily think it's wing meat. And if most consumers already know that, then it's got a really low chance of, of this case going anywhere. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was thinking. It's interesting that you mentioned the tweet thing because I was thinking to myself as a non-lawyer, this was either very, very lawyered or a very, very big risk uh, by whatever PR person put out that tweet because <laughs> that seemed uh, that seemed to be real questionable. The other one that I loved is somebody had put out that at Chick Fil A, the waffle fries are not made out of waffle batter, um, and nobody nobody thinks that they are. So, <laughs> all right, we will we'll see how this one plays out. John, always a pleasure. We'll uh, talk to you again soon. Uh, that's local patent attorney in Coral Springs, uh, John Riz. Be joining us live.